There's no crucifixions in heaven, so I'm going to be getting off this cross now. Um, I know that a lot of people are feeling like, this is too much, I can't take it. Well, you were feeling that way. I just took all of that from you. And um, what I can say But at least you know that you're getting um, your healing that I promised you. have so much fear but I'm taking all that from you and I know how to deal with it it's almost three it's not a full crucifixion but it's definitely I was praying for my wife and I've been doing everything step by step trying to show her um, how much I love her and the appreciation I have for her. And she said, why don't you make a nice video about me for once? And I'm like, all of them are nice. Oh. It was a pointless fight for something I already promised her and prayed for. Scripture confirmed it. Oh, man. Um, this phone cost me $121 and I made a commitment. I could have kept that money for myself, but I needed her to know I'm the one healing you, not hurting you. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I get blamed for so many things People make these decisions in their life, and I hear sad stories all the time. And I'm gonna say the same thing, I was always here. So, waking up all these people and the conditions that they are in, I pray every moment for her and I ask what's going on and the spirit tells me. I got placed into a position where there was nothing I could do. So I had to find a way. And before this ultimatum was issued to me, I had been so fast that I already prayed for her healing. And when you get so lost, you have to go back to step one of where you left Jesus. And that's what I've been telling everybody. Where did you leave me? Because that's where we're going to start. And I get confirmation all the time. I know what I just read. I, I know what's going on. But if this is what it takes so that somebody can just, it says every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. If this is what it takes so that you'll just stop and reconcile and just be okay with receiving forgiveness and salvation. And, oh, man. Um, for me, Personally, I just got tired of dealing with two different people. 
So I needed to kind of uh, put enough proof in front of people's faces where they're just like, wow, this is real. And yes, you did have a lying spirit. I didn't, I don't, it's not possible. And many grieved the Holy Spirit and they dragged me through so much darkness that I was just like, look, stop. And now I think we're past that where we can be like, okay, I won't do that again. So I'm gonna get off this cross now. So I'm taking your sickness, I'm taking your sin, I'm taking all your punishment. It's going to be over in about 10 minutes. But this is love. And um, there's only so much you can do in your own strength. You have to have God's strength to properly love someone. And that's one of the reasons I have power. Please don't put me in this position again. Okay? Everybody talks to me about what's going on with them and I'm just looking back at the last three and a half years of their life. Like, I've had the wrath of God poured out on me. Like, I know what true fear is. And this is not that. I'm freeing a lot of you. And I was talking to one of my prophets. A lot of chains started out a little bit at a time. And I've been trying to give people freedom from their fear. Uh, freedom from everything. But I can't do much. People don't listen to me. I want nothing but the best for you. And the way God saw it, how I was being treated was not right. <laughs> so there's only so long that you can live down here suffering until you finally get fed up. <clears throat> I'm not fed up anymore, I was. Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over all Israel. Same thing I read earlier in the other video. So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tabernacle that David had erected for it. Then they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he distributed to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, a piece of meat, and a cake of raisins. So I did that. Oh, man. Seven more minutes, beloved. How do you want me to do this? I rejoice because I know my wife is receiving her healing. I've been doing this for her for the last seven years. So. This is love, babe. This is why God gave me to you. This is my left hand. Camera is backwards. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There you go.
it's like 17 times you've gotten confirmation that Jesus is healing you and I'm Jesus. It's okay. All right. Okay. That's enough spreading my spirit across the earth here. Right on time, beloved. So I'm right on time. Wow. So many people fought with me that it just blew my mind. The thought process some people had. Like, I was just like, are you serious? spirits just wreaked havoc on my people. And I was praying about it. I was like, well, why did you lead me to the scripture that says, um, put a lying spirit in your prophets? Did we do this? And the spirit said, no, we didn't listen. And this was going to happen. So now they know the difference. <clears throat> you guys. Man. So this is the end of our lecture here. And I'm just happy that you're healed. And right now I'm um, removing a lot of things from my life. Making room for my wife and our life. And I'm severing a lot of connections because I had a lot on my shoulders. Like the scripture says I would. I'm going to pause, I'm going to pray, and then upload this and then it's done. Got two more minutes here. You have to realize what I realized. And that is a good song and I will play that one if you just realize what I just realized. You guys weren't angry with God. The spirit that was the lying spirit, or if it was a familiar spirit, some of you had three. My wife had seven, just like the scripture talks about. I'm not trying to shame her. This is the only way I know how to get through to her. She is who I said she is. I want her to be happy and I want her to be herself just like I want you guys to be yourself I have more fun sitting down with um, my people and then um, casting out their demons isn't fun but this isn't as bad as it could have been So I picked the perfect time and the perfect place to be doing this. It's not pleasant, but this is love, beloved. My wife was asking me, she was like, all Jesus has to do is show up and they disappear. They tremble first. They have to go somewhere. So when you see somebody doing it in Jesus' name, then that's what I'm doing right now. Remember, I exist outside of time. So they have to go somewhere. So I have to judge them. I remove them from you first. And then you feel all kinds of better. And then I'm taking your punishment. You shouldn't have had them in the first place. And it's okay. If this is the, um, the finality that people need to see in order for them to accept that they are forgiven and loved by God. I already made a choice a long time ago. So, I know how you're feeling, 
I knew how you were feeling and I was not lying to you. And I didn't do anything to you. I'm going to title this uh, Perfect Love Cast Out All Fear. And you're supposed to cast your anxiety on me and all these things. Love isn't doing what you want all the time. That's all I have. All right, so now I need to heal myself. That won't take long. This is my wish for all of you, especially my wife. That is the gift I want to give you. There's only so much darkness your spirits can be to take, love. 